Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Joey Shakerwalk is back here with another video for you guys. And guys, Saturday night, Super Bowl Eve. And, you know, tomorrow, it's the winner take all. Whoever wins tomorrow brings home the Lombardi Trophy. It's that time of year again. So without further ado, let's jump right on. Let's get right on into it. Super Bowl game picks. What is going to happen tomorrow night and who is going to take home the Lombardi Trophy? Let's get let's get into it, man. I don't I don't know what to say here, but of course, coming off the the only game left, the only two teams left, we have the top seeded Chiefs against the top seeded Eagles. You know, it's kind of interesting because I feel like the past several um, years, the top two seeds, I mean, I should say the two one seeds from both uh, conferences have not ended up making it to the Super Bowl. Like last year, the Titans um, fell to the Bengals, and then the Packers fell to the um, Niners. And I feel like the past several years, like when was the last time like the number one, I, I know the Chiefs as the number one seed went in 2019. Uh, the Niners, I don't know if they were the top seed in 2019. Were they? They were the one or two seed. I, th I think they were the top seed actually. But I feel like it's uh, been a little bit while since the um, top two seed, top seeds from each conference, I should say, actually made it to the Super Bowl. But here we go because the Chiefs were the one seed in the AFC and the Eagles were the one seed in the NFC. So uh, for this game, um, Obviously, I think it's going to be a really good one. I don't think I don't think it will be a blowout. I think we'll have a really good game. Uh, you know, last year's Super Bowl was really competitive. I think this year's Super Bowl will be, will be really competitive. Um, and I really have gone back and forth the past couple of weeks. I just simply can't decide. Uh, because I think the Eagles, I think, are absolutely the better all-around team. I think, again, they're way more complete. They got, they got strengths pretty much everywhere. Offensive line, quarterback, receivers, uh, secondary, pass rush. But... And they're a more complete team. However, the big difference here is the experience. The Chiefs do have Super Bowl experience. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes have great Super Bowl experience. And now, to be fair, some of the Eagles players do as well. Like Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham, especially, they uh, both have a lot of Super Bowl experience. So they should, or like playoff and Super Bowl experience in general. So that should help. Uh, it's not like it's a bunch of rookies. However, offensively, the Eagles are so young, at, at least on the line. I mean, excuse me, no other way around when it comes to the quarterback and receivers their line is actually not as young they have some older guys like kelsey and johnson but um you know their their receiving corps and their quarterback of course jalen hurts they're all they're all really young and they have a lack of super bowl experience so i i could see hurts struggling in this game he did not play very well against san francisco i mean i know they won the game but hurts didn't really do that much um, but then again, the Chiefs' um, defense is not as good as the Niners' defense. But it did play pretty well last week against Cincinnati. So any, anything's possible. And the Chiefs' defense does have a habit of coming up clutch in the playoffs. So I don't know. The, the experience does worry me. And again, again, Mahomes has that Super Bowl experience. And I do think he's going to be really motivated after last, after two years ago where he got smoked by the Bucs. Um, so it really, um, I really don't know what to say because again, the, the Chiefs definitely have the experience, and I, the Eagles should win. Like they're a, again the better all around team, I think unquestioned, undoubtedly, and I, I think that they are more built to win the ring this year. They made a lot of moves in the off season. They've built around their young quarterback, so it makes total sense for them to win it. But again. So that's why part of me wants to go with the Chiefs because I just think they have more experience and they want to pull off the upset and they're eager to get to get another ring under Mahomes and Reed's belt after uh, 2020 they didn't go and then 2021 they thought they were going to go back but then the Bengals came had that crazy comeback so um, it really could go either way guys I think this is going to be a really good game but this is kind of an unpopular opinion I don't think it's going to be crazy high scoring honestly I don't think it's going to be low low scoring but I don't think it's going to be crazy high. I think it's going to be like in the both teams will be in the 20s it'll be like moderate scoring I guess you could say um, and I think it could come down to who has the ball at it couldn't come back couldn't come down to a field goal it could go into overtime it wouldn't shock me um I think this is a battle of two very good coaches as well, Andy Reid and Nick Sirianni. Both te both coaches have done an excellent job, um, and I think you know I, I I forget who I think oh it was Brian Dable who won Coach of the Year I think, but I think that these two are def are almost always are, are, are definitely Coach of the Year candidates as well, or at least they were. Uh, they're again very good coaches, very well respected guys, uh, and it does seem like you know. The, the thing about the Super Bowl is a lot of times it's not a rivalry game because it's, it's teams it's a team from each conference so they don't really see each other much uh, and it seems like there's a there's not any you know any bad love between these two teams of course they had the Super Bowl night live thing several days ago I think it was on Monday night uh, I forget what they call it. I think I think it's like Super Bowl, Super Bowl night live right and I actually didn't even know that they did that but like they basically like 
bring in uh, top players from both teams. Like, they bring them together and they, like, ask them certain questions about the Super Bowl and stuff, and they're literally talking to each other right then and there, opposing teams. It's kind of cool, actually. I enjoyed watching uh, some of it the other night. Uh, but anyways... Uh, so with, with that being said, I, I wouldn't expect like any cheap shots or any big fights to happen in this game. Obviously, if it's a close game, it's going to be competitive. I'm not saying it won't be, but um, the bigger question is, you know, the fans, because I think Ch Chiefs and Eagles fans are both uh, a little crazy, if you ask me, especially Eagles fans. They have a history of being kind of psychotic, but we'll see what happens. Um, all, all I really want, honestly, is a good game. This is a rare time where I honestly don't really care who wins. Last year, I was pulling so hard for the Rams, of course. I don't really care who wins this game. Uh, I'll be happy for both teams i'll be happy for the eagles i'll be happy for the chiefs uh depending on what team wins i really don't care who wins this game um i have my you know i i think i don't mind really either team i have my complaints of course i mean the chiefs I, it's hard to like them because they're in the afc with the ravens but again we'll be happy for for either team i like uh several players on both teams so whoever wins wins i just can't wait to sit back and watch some stretchy football obviously i wish the ravens were in it but at the same time you guys would not know how stressed that would be if the Ravens were in this game, man. It would be so stressful. And I do think we will be in there eventually. It's going to happen at some point, but obviously not this year. So without further ado, I really don't know who to go with here, man. It's going to be so close. But for a final call, give me the Eagles winning this game 27-24. As I said, I think it's not going to be crazy high scoring, but decently high. And I think both teams will be in the 20s area. So give me 27-24 Eagles. Could be um, easily decided by a field goal. Could be in overtime. Would not shock me. But 27-24 Eagles, and they will bring home the Lombardi Trophy. I want to go with the Chiefs, but I, I do think the Eagles, being the com more complete team, will come in clutch at the end. So 27-24, and the Eagles will bring home that Lombardi Trophy. And Jalen Hurts, uh, in his third year, will get a Super Bowl ring. I, th I think it's his third year, right? Uh, regardless, he will bring home a Super Bowl. And the Eagles will win another Super Bowl, um, just like they did in 2017. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. That's my guess. How about yours? I'll be uh, thrilled to hear your thoughts. Uh, so if you want to talk at all, just uh, follow me on Twitter at jshirkenbach1, or you can let me know in the comments what you think, uh, and I'd be happy to talk with you there. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I am out. Have a great night. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, of course, go Ravens, but unfortunately, our season's over. Um, now we'll see you guys in the next week or two. Uh, I'm probably gonna have like a Ravens um, like off season preview video coming soon. Of course, there's a lot of talks about you know Lamar Jackson and the contract and some uh, and of course they had their season ending press conference. So I will probably have that video coming out in like the next week or two. But focus on the Super Bowl right now. So enjoy the Super Bowl, and I will see you all in the next one.